let's face it, feedback is annoying. For you and your audience. But if you've got a loudspeaker, a microphone, an acoustic path between the two, and enough gain, eventually you're going to get feedback. The trick is to set up the system so that the gain you need for the performance is below the threshold of feedback. We refer to this as a stable system. The TouchMix 30 has a remarkable feedback wizard that can help manage feedback. But before we look at that, let's review some best practice ideas to mitigate feedback in your setup. Selection and placement of loudspeakers and microphones, room acoustics, and the performer's microphone handling techniques can all contribute to how likely it is that feedback will happen. Here's a few tips to deal with these factors. First, the main PA loudspeakers should be forward of the microphones. The vocal stage monitors should usually have low frequencies below 100 Hz rolled off and should be aimed at the performer's ear level. As for the microphones, try to keep the microphones pointed away from the monitors and try to avoid cupping the head of the microphone with your hand, as this causes feedback as well. When EQing the mics, use a high pass filter on everything that doesn't actually have desirable low frequency content. Finally, be aware that if the stage has a rear wall with a hard reflective surface, this might contribute to feedback. Also, avoid using excessive EQ boost on input channels or outputs. Let's say you've done all of these things right, but you still have a feedback problem. That's where the TouchMix 30's feedback wizard can help. You see, feedback doesn't happen all at once and at all frequencies. It occurs at frequencies where there is a narrow peak in the response of the total system. If you can find these frequencies and use very narrow filters, then you can get a lot more gain before feedback. In other words, our system will be stable. So let's take a look at how the TouchMix 30 manages feedback. First, we'll select an output channel. It could be the main left, right, or one of the auxiliaries. And now let's press the anti-feedback button. Every output of the TouchMix 30 has a 12-band anti-feedback filter system. These filters are very narrow, so they don't have much effect on the overall tonal balance. Their purpose is to eliminate feedback. You could adjust these manually, or you could start the feedback wizard. If you want to zero out all the filters before you begin, touch the reset button. Also, make sure that the filter switch is set to in. In order to kill feedback, you actually have to cause a little bit of feedback. Many professional engineers refer to this as ringing out the system. This process will result in some brief instances of feedback that could be annoying to some, which is why you should be sure to do this before the audience has entered the venue. With that in mind, it's time to let the wizard work its magic. Touch the Feedback Wizard button, and you'll see some instructions on preparing your system. The Feedback Wizard automates the very same process that an experienced operator would use to get maximum gain before feedback. Read and follow these instructions, then press Start. You'll notice that the fader begins to creep up on its own. As the gain increases, the first feedback frequency rears its ugly head. This window will display the frequency of the feedback, and the wizard will apply a filter. If the frequency starts taking off too much, the wizard will bring the fader down, just like an experienced sound engineer would. Then the wizard will start looking for the next frequency. For most situations, you won't need to apply all 12 filters, so feel free to exit the wizard before it uses them all. When you do that, the main fader will return to its starting position. Then you can repeat this process for the other outputs. The feedback wizard will only use filters that have a cut of 0.0, .0 dB, so the wizard doesn't change any filters that you've already set. These filters are live and editable, so you can adjust them after they've been created. You can quickly toggle a particular filter on and off by tapping its label, or you can adjust its frequency and cut individually using these knobs. You can increase or decrease all of the filters at once by adjusting the filter depth control, or widen the filters with the filter Q control. Here's one more thing to know. The mixer keeps looking for feedback frequencies all the time, even after you've stopped the wizard. If it detects new feedback, it will still display the trouble frequency here, but it won't apply a new filter unless you touch the manual kill button. Now, certain sounds like a synthesizer holding a single note or a sustained feedback guitar note seem like feedback to the wizard. So, the manual kill button keeps you in control without notching out any of your music. The feedback wizard, just another way the TouchMix 30 Pro goes beyond mixing to give you great results.